Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We who once were dead, now live fully knowing Jesus as our head. Life is overflowing when he breaks the bread. We were lost in night, but you sought and found us. Give us strength to fight. Death is all around us. Jesus be our light. He became our bread. Jesus did to save us. On him we are fed, eating what he gave us, rising from the dead. Let us share the pain you endured in dying. We shall then remain living, death defying. We shall rise again. Jesus, you were dead, but you rose and living, made yourself our bread in your goodness giving, life though we were dead. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the Lord's tomb. Hallelujah. The Lord's revelation to my master. Sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn, I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the streams by the wayside, therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the Lord's tomb. Hallelujah. Come and see the place where the Lord was buried. Hallelujah. When Israel came forth from Egypt, Jacob's sons from an alien people, Judah became the Lord's temple. Israel became his kingdom. The sea fled at the sight. The Jordan turned back on its course. The mountains leapt like rams and the hills like yearling sheep. Why was it, sea, that you fled, that you turned back, Jordan, on your course? Mountains that you leapt like rams, hills like yearling sheep. Tremble, O earth, before the Lord, in the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool and flint into a spring of water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come and see the place where the Lord was buried. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to set out for Galilee. There they will see me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all who worship him reverently, great and small. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the Lord, our all-powerful God, is King. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Jesus said, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to set out for Galilee. There they will see me. Alleluia. A reading from Hebrews chapter 10. Jesus offered one sacrifice for sins, and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are placed beneath his feet. By one offering he has forever perfected those who are being sanctified. 
This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. On the evening of the first day of the week, the disciples were gathered together behind locked doors. Suddenly Jesus stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Hallelujah. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. On the evening of the first day of the week, the disciples were gathered together behind locked doors. Suddenly Jesus stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Hallelujah. With joy in our hearts, let us call upon Christ the Lord, who died and rose again, and lives always to intercede for us. Victorious King, hear our prayer. Light and salvation of all peoples, send into our hearts the fire of your Spirit as we proclaim your resurrection. Let Israel recognize in you her longed-for Messiah, and the whole earth be filled with the knowledge of your glory. Keep us in communion of your saints and grant us rest from our labors in their company. You have triumphed over death, your enemy. Destroy in us the power of death, that we may live only for you, victorious and immortal Lord. Savior Christ, you were obedient even to accepting death and were raised up to the right hand of the Father. In your goodness, welcome our brothers and sisters into the kingdom of your glory. Let us conclude our prayers with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, creator of all, today is the day of Easter joy. This is the morning on which the Lord appeared to men who had begun to lose hope and opened their eyes to what the scriptures foretold, that first he must die and then he would rise and ascend into his Father's glorious presence. May the risen Lord breathe on our minds and open our eyes, that we may know him in the breaking of bread, and follow him in his risen life. Grant this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.